Once you go four inches, you never go back. You'll stay four inches. That's Apple's motto. Four inches. Woo! So what's up guys, Jonathan here, and apparently quite a few people enjoy four inches, according to Apple. And with that, the chamfers are back, the four inch screen is back, it's never felt bigger. This is the iPhone SE. So the first thing you need to know is that the iPhone SE essentially is an iPhone 6S sandwiched inside an iPhone 5S body. It's got that same four inch display, 1136 by 640, comes in silver, gold, space gray, but now does come in that shiny new rose gold. Now if one of your friends has the 5S and they're trying to pass it off as the SE, here's how you can spot the difference. One, the Apple logo. It is now aluminum, just like the iPhone 6S. And if you look really closely, there is the SE branding. So jokes aside, what does make the iPhone SE appealing is what's inside. There is actually quite a bit of power in that compact package. It's rocking Apple's A9 processor, which is the same as the iPhone 6S, and that is a huge freaking jump from the iPhone 5S, and especially both the 5C and the 5. You also get the M9 co-processor, which is gonna help with fitness tracking and fitness-related activities. But one key difference, which leads me to my next point, is that there is no 3D touch on the iPhone SE. So if you weren't aware, 3D touch essentially is a more ridiculous name for force touch on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus. So for example, you could light press to get a preview of an email, or if you wanna open it up fully, you just deep press. What's insanely cool is if you're typing, you can actually 3D touch, and that will bring up a cursor, which is awesome. And of course, you get none of this on the SE. Sorry. But back to the positive, the third thing you need to know is that the camera is actually awesome. For those of you stuck shooting potato quality on the 5S and 5 right now, you will be happy to hear the iPhone SE shoots in 4K. It should be nearly identical to the iPhone 6S as far as quality goes, so this footage that you're seeing here is what you can expect out of the SE. On top of that, it is now 12 megapixels. Megapixels, you motherfucker! So with those megapixels, you're gonna get a sharper, crisper, more vibrant image, and it's gonna be a huge upgrade coming from any of the older iPhones. Best of all, because it's retaining that thicker design, there is no camera hump. Now before you get too excited, there is one major difference with the front-facing camera because that is not the same as the iPhone 6S. With the 6S, you're getting a five megapixel camera with an f-stop of 2.2, but with the SE, you're only getting 1.2 megapixels with an f-stop of 2.4. Now for me, this is a classic bang your head into a desk, why did you do that Apple moment? Same thing where they decided not to include an HD camera in the 12-inch MacBook. You get the speed of an iPhone 6S, you get the same exact rear-facing camera, but for some reason, Apple decides to four-inch you on the front-facing one. So the fourth thing we're gonna talk about is the price. And I feel like this video is a constant back and forth between the good and the bad. The price, however, falls on the good side because the iPhone SE starts out at 399. The one downside with this is it starts at 16 gigabytes. So if you record like 14 seconds of 4K video, you're done. But if you wanna step up to 64 gigs, that will run you 499, which is still way cheaper than the iPhone 6S. So last up, we're gonna talk about battery life. And this is a prime example of where sometimes smaller is actually better. As long as it's thicker. So what Austin and super chub Evans means is because of the smaller form factor and the thicker design, they're able to fit more battery in there. Plus with the screen actually physically being smaller, that is overall less drain on the battery. Now I haven't seen the official battery capacity for the SE, but if I had to guess, it's definitely more than the 5S and somewhere closer to the iPhone 6S. So with that, Apple is claiming you'll get 13 hours of LTE internet browsing on the SE versus 10 on the 6S, and 13 hours of video playback on the SE opposed to 11 on the 6S. So all in all, there is a lot of good here. There is some bad, but if you do like that four inch screen, the iPhone SE looks really appealing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did and you are feeling like being awesome, make sure to go four inches of power on that like button. If you haven't yet, feel free to subscribe, probably get an unbox one, review one, and maybe give one away. How do I win Tim Cook's four? This is Jonathan, and I will catch you guys later.